I like to call the Maryville Redevelopment Commission meeting for April 23rd to order at 6. Well, that clock is off. 6.20 p.m. Uh, Angie, in absence of Miss Hardaway, will you take the roll call, please? Sure. Chandler Feltman. Present. H Hayes Edwards. Present. Uzlak. Present. Hardaway, absent. Pettit. Here. We have four members. We have a quorum. Next item, ladies, is the consent agenda, the accounts payable register voucher approval for April 23rd, 2024, and the approval of the meeting minutes for March 26, 2024. So moved. Second. Motion by Mrs. Uzelak, seconded by Mrs. Chandler Felton. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Um, Quickly, under old business, Joe and I want to have a, a brief discussion. Um, we do not have the supplemental agreements for the Mississippi Street 69th Avenue uh, project. Uh, as you might remember, members, we had a presentation by Butler, Fairman, and Seifert. And when we started looking at the uh, agreements, uh, Joe and I had some concerns. Uh, again, there are two grants that the town of Maryville has received, one for $3 million at 69th in Mississippi, and one for $4 million at 79th in Mississippi. They're both 80-20 matches. However, I think it's, and Joe would, I, th I hope agrees, I think what we need to do is we need to sit down with officials from the city of Holbert and talk about this 20% match. Well, not, not only that, I think what we need to do is just get everybody on a collective, in a collective meeting face-to-face -face right. and assign cost allocations. Because in the agreement right now, it basically says Maryville's responsible for everything and Hobart's only responsible for a couple things. Well, I think everybody has a responsibility in the 69th Avenue development. So if we can get everybody in the same room, allocate, define some costs and responsibilities, I think we'll be better off and we'll be more well protected under the agreement. Itself. And and it's, you know, we disannexed the strip of land so that all of the curb cuts from the bike trail to 73rd Avenue would touch the Mississippi Street right of way. There was a section of Maryville, little 10 foot wide section of Maryville from right, right of way to corporate limit. We had to fix that a number of years ago. Uh, you know, and, and my concern as RDC president and the ward councilman is, you know, the town of Maryville, uh, through the Mississippi Street allocation area, has spent a lot of money from 61st Avenue down to 101st Avenue. And we've seen the fruits uh, of our labor, but our, our partner, City of Hobart, is also seeing that as well. Um, as many of you have seen, uh, there's tree clearing going on out in what's called Patriot Park. There's potential for development. They have their things on the east side of Mississippi. And as Joe said, I just think it's a good idea to get together with them. Uh, they have a new mayor, um, and I think they have some new department heads as well. Um, so what I'll probably do is have Angie um, reach out to their economic development director, see if we can't do a workshop sometime in May with the Redevelopment Commission um, and the folks from Hobart. Uh, so we can get this thing going. Um, so I think that's about it, isn't it, Joe? Yes. Okay. Uh, under new business, we have no new business. Mr. Chilcott? No new business, thank you. All right. Under general orders, we have one item. Uh, this is a resolution. Resolution of the Town of Maryville Redevelopment Commission transferring certain funds in the budget for public safety. Uh, I think you all have a copy of resolution 24-05 mm -hmm. in your packet. Um, I don't know. Trista just just sauntered in. Uh, do you want to explain this real quick, Trista? Or thank you. Uh, going by memory quickly, the main point is to make sure that the items need to be paid. Clothing, for example, is paid not as a payroll item, but as the actual uh, expense in. Uh, contractual services. The second area for the field house allocation area, I think it is. Um, Angie, remind me. That's the the second one is the other equipment, the Mississippi Street. Oh, tip. right. We had to break it out into the freight and furniture and fixtures. Sorry, thank you. So that is the approval that you gave uh, for RDC money for 
new equipment in the police department area here in the offices. And you'll see that middle set of digits, 020, is so that it's identified by department for public safety as opposed to your general RDC numbers, which will stay 010 in the middle. Okay. Okay. Any questions for Angie or Trista? No. No. Okay. None. Motion. Motion by Mrs. Uzelak. Second. Second by Shauna. I'll, I'll give it to Mrs. Haynes Edwards. Uh, any further discussion? Seeing none, Angie, will you take a roll call on this? Sure. Chandler Felton? Aye. Haynes Edwards? Aye. Uzelak? Yes. Hardaway is absent. And Pettit? Yes. Four eyes, motion carries. Is there any other business, Angie? No other business, thank you. All right. Chair will entertain a motion. So moved. Is that to adjourn? To adjourn. Mrs. Uzlak? <laughs> yes. I second. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Chandler Felton seconds. All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. All right, Joe. Gotta take a photo. Rightio, you gotta make it official. <laughs>